Hi, welcome to the first day of Biology of Health. I am Dr. Nicole Traeger. In this lecture, we will be walking through the structure of our course. On this slide, you can find uh, my contact information as well as uh, my student hours. You can contact me through a Canvas inbox, also through my direct email at ntrager at losmedanos.edu. My student hours uh, vary throughout the week, uh, Tuesdays from 12.35 to 2 p.m., Wednesdays from 12 to 1 p.m., Thursday evenings uh, from 5 to 6 p.m. and Fridays I'm available uh, most of the day uh, so you can make an appointment uh, for whatever suits your schedule uh, when you are available. Uh, I am available by Zoom uh, and you can find the Zoom link on your Canvas homepage for my student hours, and I will be showing you our Canvas here in a moment. A little bit about me, if you haven't taken the time to peruse Canvas and the About Your Professors section, I'll give you a quick snapshot about me. I am Dr. Nicole Traeger, and I will be taking you through these next four months of biology of health. Um, I did my undergraduate at Portland Nazarene University. I have a, a BS in biochemistry. Uh, this is myself and my husband who also um, I met at undergrad and he also has a BS in biochemistry. Uh, I then um, graduated and went to graduate school where I earned my PhD in immunology, uh, which is the study of the immune system, uh, which really has to do with a lot about human health and uh, diseases. And we will talk a lot about diseases in this class. Um, and I am very passionate about disease and uh, we will get really far into um, how diseases affect us and humans and the world and uh, so I'm really excited to talk to you about that and my passions and hopefully you'll get fired up about it as well. Um, outside of academics and science, I have two furred babies, Shotzi and Severus, and they're down here. Uh, they're two wiener dogs, and they keep me very busy at home. Um, and I also am a really big Shakespeare buff, and this is my husband and I at the Oregon Shakespeare Festival, which is one of the biggest Shakespeare festivals in the world, uh, and it's in uh, southern Oregon. Uh, not too far of a drive from where we are, so we get to uh, go there pretty frequently when we're not in a pandemic. Uh, so I really enjoy doing that, and um, uh, this is one of my favorite shows that we got to see was Antony and Cleopatra a few years ago. So um, when I'm not teaching science, uh, you'll often find me at the theater. So about Bio 5, we um, are you'll find all of our classroom things on Canvas. And we are an asynchronous class. That means we have no classroom meetings. You uh, will be able to do everything on your own time on a weekly schedule. Everything is scheduled week by week. Everything is due uh, on Saturday evenings. And uh, your schedule can be found on your syllabus that I sent out to everybody, but it's also listed on our Canvas um, website. Uh, there are at-home mini labs. 
Normally when we're in person in not a pandemic, we would meet for one hour mini lab activities. Um, but you will be doing these, you'll be performing these at home. Um, some of them are hands-on activities that you'll kind of perform yourself. And some of them are little worksheets or um, little internet discoveries as I like to call them. Uh, they aren't too intensive. They shouldn't take you too long. They just uh, expand on what we're learning that week in class. And then we have some our assessments. Um, how do we check in on your learnings? Uh, we have weekly check-ins. Um, they're kind of um, think about it questions. I will propose a question to you and you'll write your response back and you will um, have a chance to kind of edit your response um, as well. If you didn't quite get the concept, um, I will give you a chance to edit your response and make up your points. Um, and all of that is written in the instructions in the think about it questions. There are a few um, class discussions uh, where you get to discuss um, some of the uh, class concepts with your peers in your class. Uh, this way we don't feel so alone um, online at home and we get to uh, know what everybody else is thinking about uh, in class. Uh, are, do you feel like you're on the same page with everybody? Uh, are you moving right along in class? There are some study skills uh, going along uh, with our class to help you prepare for our exams. Uh, I'm not just going to throw an exam at you. I will help you uh, prepare. And it's also um, a collaborative study skills. So you'll get to share uh, your, um, your review skills and your testic questions with your classmates. Uh, so they're collaborative. Um, I'm going to help you study for your exam. And then there are um, three exams in this class, two midterms and one cumulative. Uh, our exams, we'll go over them a little bit as they come a little bit closer, um, but they are, um, they kind of vary. There are some multiple choice questions, some fill in the blank, um, but uh, most of the exam is going to be structured like your check-ins, your think about it questions. They'll be critical thinking essay questions. Um, so most of your exam are going to be a lot more essay questions uh, to give you time to write and think about uh, what you've learned and try to explain um, some of the critical thinking uh, things that you have learned in some of your sections. And there will definitely be ample opportunity for extra credit throughout our course. Each uh, week, you will be given a weekly overview. And I think this is a good time for us to look at our Canvas. Um, so this is the Canvas homepage. Uh, when you signed on to Canvas, hopefully you took a chance to look at the homepage. This is what your homepage looks like. It has the course description. It also has my contact information and my student hours, as well as the Zoom link to find me during my student hours. Uh, you can pop in at any time. It's just drop in and I am on there just waiting for you to come chat with me. Uh, there are also some helpful buttons down here. Uh, campus support, some tech support buttons, uh, the link to the course schedule. Um, so that tells you what's happening week by week in our class. Uh, the link to download the syllabus in case you forget um, or lose your syllabus link. Uh, and then also a very helpful button to start here. So we're going to click that button right now. 
and it will take us to where we start. So it is the welcome orientation module, which you should read through this week. It has the syllabus and the welcome letter, a meet the professor, uh, and lots of things about this course that you should read through. And um, I hope you read through this uh, welcome and orientation module. The next module um, is instructions for assignments. I have um, put through some instructions of different types of assignments that we will have. Uh, not all of this, all of these assignments we will have this week. These are just different types of assignments we will have throughout this course um, this semester. So you can feel free to read through now um, or wait till those types of assignments come up. But this is what I would like you to focus on uh, week one. This is um, how each week will look. Each module is going to look like this. Uh, you will have week one, you will have each week a learning objectives. And the learning objectives are goals for each week. And it's really good for you to look at them. And this will let you know what you should have learned that week. And then it will have um, what assignments uh, what you should be turning in that week, and it will have live links for each of those. <clears throat> so it's a good starting off. Then uh, below that, it will have a schedule overview. So this will tell you um, more in depth of what you should be expecting that week. So this week, you should be reading the orientation module. You should read week one module, which includes our learning objectives, uh, watching this week's lecture videos, which includes our orientation the course, which you are watching currently, uh, a what is health lecture, um, and what are we made of lecture, part one. Uh, also this week, you should read the assigned textbook and lab reading, which is these um, textbook numbers, and do these assignments, which will also have live links. So each week will have a schedule or will have learning objectives and a schedule overview. And then each week you will have um, a lecture tab where you can click on that and all of your lectures, uh, videos, and PDFs um, will be in there. And each week um, all of your lab assignments will be in this lab tab. And any other assignments will be under this assignment tab. So here you have it, your check-in one for this week and your discussion one for this week. So every week will look like this. You will have learning objectives, schedule overview, lecture, lab, and assignments. So every week will look exactly the same. This week is a little bit different because you do need to go over the orientation um, for the class. And if you would like to review the instructions for the assignments as well. And that is it for this lecture. So welcome, and I am so glad you are here. <laughs>